D-Lo for, for boxing. All right, y'all. So I saw Keith Thurman getting off a plane, arriving at the venue, holding his baby, you know, looking trim. And, uh, you know, seemingly on his way to making weight. You know, um, it's Wednesday, so we still have three, four days before the actual fight. Um, what, uh, two days out, three days out before the weigh-in. And, um, you know, Keith Thurman, <laughs> he, he looked pretty dry and pale to me. I heard it stated that, you know, Keith Thurman looks really good. I, I don't see that. Maybe he will on fight night once he, you know, once he rehydrates. But right now, Keith Thurman looks dried out like he, you know, like he just stepped out of uh, the humidifier. You know, um, I hope that Keith Thurman uh, made weight safely. You know, he, he definitely seemed to me to have cut a lot of weight in a short period of time based on how he looked several weeks ago. Um, and I know that's not that uncommon for fighters to do that, but Keith Thurman's coming off of almost a three year, if not a three year layoff, um, coming down. I mean, Keith, Keith was up there in weight. I'm not going to speculate on what his weight may have been, but Keith was up there. Um, just based on how he looked prior to this fight by comparison, to how he looked going into other fights and even with the the weight loss he doesn't look to me like he usually does you know if you look at Keith before the Pacquiao fight and before the Jose Lopez fight before the Porter Garcia fights to me Keith looked um more he looked look he looked healthier at the weigh-in than he looked on the picture I saw today the videos I saw today. Um, and that that being said, I'm sure Keith still has some weight to lose prior to the weigh-in. I'm not trying to wish bad on him. I'm not trying to speak, you know, anything bad on him. I'm just saying that just based off of what I've seen thus far, it's hard for me to see all of that, know all the things I just mentioned, and even though Barrios is coming off of a KO loss to Tank Davis, it's hard for me to think that Keith Thurman is in an optimal position going into this fight. And I'm leaning very hard toward going with Barrios to stop Keith Thurman. And if he doesn't stop him to outwork him, because I just don't know what Keith Thurman under these circumstances is going to have in the tank going into a fight against a younger, more active, physically bigger, longer fighter who is a good body puncher in his own right. Um, all of those things make me feel like an upset might be in order. Hopefully Keith Thurman's, you know, hydrates, the, you know, back the right way and Everything I mean, hopefully he comes into the fight healthy and, and you know what I'm saying, uh, and all of that stuff. But I have to question the man's weight loss and wonder how it's going to affect his punch resistance, his stamina, um, you know, his ability to absorb the gruel and, and everything that goes with going rounds on a fight. But we'll see how it all plays out. You know, we're days out from the way in. So, you know, maybe something changes. But just based on this is just my immediate reaction to what I saw today. That's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.